my lovely and beautiful people i am back i only posted one time last week and i bet y'all probably miss me no okay anyways as you can see from the title of this video i'm about to do a pride look if you didn't know i am pansexual myself so it's kind of awkward that i let the whole of june go by and i haven't done a pride related video so today's look is gonna going to be influenced by james charles puzzle piece look wish me luck on this but i might add a little twist because you gotta be different sometimes so we'll see but yeah i'm gonna change my shirt because i'm thinking of doing something close down to my chest along with it so let's go okay so first i started off with my la girl lip plumper to moisturize and plump my lips and then i started off with my spoolie to brush out my eyebrows um <laughs> weird and then i went in with my nyx pro eye pencil in black and i just started to outline my eyebrows <laughs> gotta get them looking sexy sisters not twins guys sisters not twins so after I filled in my eyebrows I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 50 which is Cafe looking all sexy I don't know what I was dancing to so ignore that <laughs> yeah now this is where I took my concealer brush and I started to conceal my brows because we can't be looking all crazy. They gotta look sexy, you know? And again I say sisters, not twins, guys, sisters, not twins. So now that I've finished both eyebrows, I then go in and blend that concealer into my eye because I like to use it as a base for my eyeshadow. And obviously you can't be looking all crazy, so you gotta blend. You must blend, sis. So now I have the Morphe X James Charles palette and I start to go in to the edge with the shade Escape. I then went in with the shade Love That to blend out that escape color so it wouldn't look as harsh as it was. Then I went in with the shade Cola right next to that purple. Cause the rainbow. Y'all go y'all get the idea. It's a pride look, so <laughs> And then I went into the inner corner with the shade Daddy. <laughs> One day I will be able to say that properly. <laughs> and then we blend because again, we can't be over here looking crazy. We gotta blend those colors into each other. So then I went back in with that Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Cafe to cut my crease. Because I'm obsessed with cut crease looks. Do not judge me. Mm -hmm. 
now i'm going in to that outer corner with you're kidding it's a red shade by the way i came up with this look all by myself i was just going with it and hoping it looks good at the end you know cross fingers cross toes and it was not bad so now i take 518 and it looks kind of dull here but in the next light it's gonna look lighter and that is because i added the shade rusted to it to bring a pop of brighter orange and then of course i'm going to go into the inner corner with the shade b So now that that looks brighter, I am blending that because, again, can't be looking crazy. And now I take the Voluminous Superstar x Primer Waterproof Mascara in the shade Blackest Black. And it has two sides and I'm using the curvy side because it's good for upper lashes. Even though I messed up because I'm very clumsy. <laughs> Excuse me. For foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Paris True Match foundation in C8, which is the shade Coco. I really love this foundation. I have like four of them because <laughs> it's hard to find my shades, so I buy them in packs. But yeah, and I'm obviously not going to play this on my whole entire face, just my cheeks, my nose, um, and a little bit of my forehead may go down to above the lip, but obviously not going to play much because I still have more to this look. with that concealer to conceal under my eyes and my nose and um, I'm also gonna clean up the edge of my eyeshadow along with it Here we have the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set my nose and under my eye because my nose tends to sweat and my under my eyes tend to crack, the foundation tends to crack so I'm obviously setting that because I'm basically technically done with this part of my face. Um, black girls, this is a good setting powder for your skin tone, I'm just gonna put that out there. my kiss new york professional waterproof matte eyeliner in the shade burgundy and i put that on my waterline And of course, I gotta go in with some lashes. I don't know where I got these from, so don't ask. Thank you. And y'all know a pride look can't be complete without some glitter. 
So I took my tag yellow gold glitter and put it under my eye. So this is where I started my process to the puzzle piece look and I went in with my black eye pencil and I tried to outline the puzzle pieces. I really think I'm an artist but I'm not and this really didn't work out but we gonna see man. So this is where I kind of gave up with the puzzle pieces and I decided to go in with my Tag Silver Face Paint. Tag is a good brand for face paint related stuff guys. Sponsor me, <laughs> low key, but yeah. Then I took my size 12 brush, also from Tag, and I used it to paint the rest of my body. So after I finished with my number 12 brush, I then went in with my number 2 brush to do the puzzle pieces um, for obviously finer lines, even though I have a pretty heavy hand, so some of them were kind of big, but I tried my best. Okay, so remember when I said I'm doing this with a little twist? I decided to do like an opened, an open like space over my like heart area. <laughs> Cause creativity. <laughs> some puzzle pieces in there as well because it's a puzzle piece look so why not took my number four number six and number eight brush and i went in with the colors blue pink and gold because i'm pansexual and those are my colors and those are my heart you get it <laughs> creativity points 100 and that was it for the look guys like come on who is she I could have blended this better but I got lazy because I filmed this at like <laughs> 3 in the morning 
going on to 5 a.m. Yes, it took me two hours, <laughs> but yeah. And that is it for the look. Like, if you want, you could define the puzzle pieces a little bit more than I did. I didn't really touch much, but yeah. Tell me if you liked it. And if you want to see more tutorial, because this is kind of fun. I'll see you in my next video. Happy Pride.